Hi, my name is Brittany, and this is my story. Okay, I'm Brittany Hill. I am a computer science major, and I'm 20 years old. Okay, um, what year are you in? I'm a sophomore. Okay, um, well, how did you get into computer science? Um, well, in the summer of 2015, I joined a program called Girls Who Code. Um, Girls Who Code is a program that basically works to bridge the gender gap between minorities and girls in general in tech companies. So basically they send um, juniors in high school to different tech companies all over the country. Um, they have some in Georgia, they have some in California. The one I went to was in California at Facebook. Um, so they chose to send me to the Facebook headquarters for two months. It was ten weeks that we spent learning how to code. We learned robotics. We learned HTML, CSS, um, we learned like JavaScript, jQuery, just like dipped our feet in like little languages and just learned the basics of coding to see if we liked it. We also got to talk to um, project managers and other people around Facebook and Instagram and all their partner companies and we got to stay there every day. It was like 9 to 5 but it was so much fun because there was like food and just so many crazy things that were happening and we got to meet a lot of amazing people and that got me interested in computer science. Um, so when I got back to Georgia, I was like ready and I knew my major was going to be computer science from then. Lucky. That's a pretty cool story. Um, you talk about um, girls who code. Have you continued like, your involvement with them since participating in the program? Yes. I. When I got back to Georgia after um, Girls Who Code, I um, I was a I was a I was just entering my junior no I was just entering my senior year of high school and um, I was really into film um, I originally wanted to be a film major and Girls Who Code sent out an email saying um, if you wanted to be in their YouTube channel then to like make a 30 second film for them and upload it and that would be like your audition tape and I had just so happened to be trying to open a club at my school at my high school because it had like no computer science classes and so I had already made like a little rap 30 second rap as a promo for that club and I had some other girl film it it was like green screen because I typically like to be behind the screen so I had like someone else do it but then I just read it myself and just like re-edited like a new video of me doing the rap and made it more YouTube style and I turned it in and I got the um, YouTube opportunity for them. They said I was like one of the first people to send in my thing, but it was because I already had like the rap written up. And um, after that, I filmed 10 episodes of their channels, um, or their YouTube channels um, show. It's called My Code. And it was me and three other girls. Um, it was a really cool experience. And we just talked about why girls should join um, computer science clubs at their school and just be more involved and learn about code. And then after that, I did some brand ambassador work with them in their program. Um, they have an app called Loop out, and it's basically just for girls who've already gone through um, Girls Who Code to connect and learn about job opportunities and just talk to each other and stuff. And so we did that. I did. Um, I also TA um, for their club. <coughs> I've, sorry, I've, I've TA'd for their Girls Who Code Club for like the past year and a half now, since I was a freshman, and um, that was really fun. I've taught girls and a couple guys that were dual enroll students at students. <laughs> students. Um, I've taught some dual enroll students at Georgia State, um, and yeah, we learned Python, we learned HTML, CSS. Last year we went to Square, the Squarespace in Atlanta, and we got to present our website which was like a career like training website where people could learn what career would be best for them. And the students made that in like a semester and it was really cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, why is it so important to you to get more girls into, to get more girls to start coding? Um, I think a good reason why girls should start coding is because, um, First, we're a minority in this field, and so that's a really big deal because computer science, coding, that is something that's all around us. You look, what you're watching this video on right now is coded, um, the car you're going to get in to go to school is coded, or the bus, like everything around you literally has something to do with code in it. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy to me how we have all these things that have some, part, some like type of code in it that are created by like half of the population. It's weird. Um, because guys 
men aren't can't get pregnant um, they don't have periods there's a lot of things that men don't understand that girls have to go through women have to go through so it's very important to me that um, the code that's coming out there is being um, inclusive for all types of people all genders all races all um, backgrounds so it can't just be like one specific group of people making code for everyone you know they're not gonna be able to understand how um, how what what I need as a pregnant woman if I was a pregnant woman you know mm -hmm. so that's one reason I think it's really important for um, other people to be in computer science and code another reason is because there's a lot of opportunities and that the field is only expanding and there's so much you can do and it's only gonna get bigger and there's so much creativity behind code that I feel like people don't understand um, it's I, it has this picture where people just think that um, you're like stuck in a cubicle, it's like a 9 to 5 and you don't have to, you can't do anything but just sit there um, and look at a screen. And for a part it is kind of like you're looking through a screen but you can go code anywhere. Coding is not something that is Wi-Fi based so if you want to go code at the beach you can go code at the beach. Um, it's something where it's very creative, everything you're thinking of or everything that you're coding is like all up to you, every aspect of it is your creation. And I think that's a, like the beauty of code is it's such a creative process and um, it's so open to like any way you want to do it. Um, and so that's why I think a lot of people should just be more more interested in computer science and learning about what they could do and what they could provide because everyone has something to give with computer science and yeah. you just gotta dip your toes in to see what it is. Oh, I like yeah. that. Um, how has your experience um, as a woman in computer science been? Um, well, for me, I'd say it's... So far, it's actually been great for me. Um, I'd say just because, as I said, women are a minority in this field, so a lot of tech companies have noticed that that is an issue and have been willing to reach out and provide all these opportunities. I've gotten so many great opportunities. Um, not just because I'm a minority or a woman, but also because I work hard. And yeah, when they you notice, know what you do. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm good at what I do. I work hard, and I'm like, look, you need me. Like, I can provide this insight that you don't have right now, like, or you have very little of, and I have the work to show it. And so, being a girl um, in computer science has helped me a lot, and being well at my job has helped me a lot. And it also at times can be kind of hard because you're the only girl in your classroom or mm -hmm. you're, um, you know, I know this hasn't necessarily happened to me, but it's only, I'm only sophomore and I haven't really been in computer science for that long, only since I've been a junior in high school. Yeah. But I just know when I went to Facebook, um, one of our speakers was talking about how she would teach, um, she would train her IT, um, she would train her IT group on how to code or like learn the basics of the company's like system or something like that and she said that a lot of the guys would always question her or rush her or ask her to go over things as if she like didn't understand what she was saying yeah um, and she would always have to prove them wrong like again and again and be like I understand what I'm doing I'm not teaching you for nothing like I obviously yeah. understand what what I'm teaching you and um, it, she said it took her a while to prove that she actually understood the things that she was teaching and the concepts that they were learning. And um, after a while, she said that people stopped asking her to explain herself every step of the way. But at first, she said it was very stressful to have to go through that every time and constantly tell them that she's worth being where she is. So, oh my gosh. yeah. That's really crazy. Yeah. Um, and I guess to close off, um, what advice would you have, I guess, to anyone, any girls watching this video and maybe thinking about going into computer science or trying to figure out like how to navigate, like, yeah, what's your advice? Well, I'd say if you were interested in starting computer science to um, start right now, no matter where you are or what you're doing, um, if you don't have access to a computer, you can go to your library or all libraries have access to computers, get a library card, whatever you have to do. Um, there's plenty of online um, resources like Khan Academy, Code Academy, um, Google has some things, um, WS3 Schools has like stuff if you want to do HTML, CSS, you can download Unity if you want to learn how to make games, 
and all the stuff, especially if your student is free to you. Mm -hmm. um, so there's no excuse there on how to like start up. Um, just teach yourself the like the web the, the website, like the um, the internet is your your key to success with coding because literally everything is on the internet. It's made on the internet. Once you start learning some fundamentals, I would say like start working on projects. Um, they have a lot of basic ideas you could look up like simple projects to make in Java, simple projects to make in HTML, CSS, and you can just test it out, download the softwares, the compilers that you need, and um, trust, test your work, try, fail, try again, fail again, you'll only get stronger by failing. So once you get through the failing process and trying and you feel confident in what you're doing, then I would also, especially if you're in college, even if you're in college and like you don't know that much about code, you can go to internships, you can apply to like Google's internship, Facebook's internship. Um, there's smaller ones. Look around what's in your in your city. If you don't want to leave, you can try. Um, there's a lot of like internship opportunity websites that you can look up and put in your category and exactly what you want, mm -hmm. and um, they'll come up with a whole list and just start applying. There's an REU internship that you can apply to. Um, that's good from the National Science Foundation if you're like any point in college. Um, there's just, I would say, get an internship. If you know a lot of code, you can get one that's like really high up there. Like you could already be the software developer and like really be coding. Or you can do one that will teach you, like the Google Summer of Code, where they like really are working on teaching you everything. Either way, after you got your internship, you should be pretty well versed and just keep learning how to make products and keep applying to internships, eventually co-ops. And by the time you graduate college, or even if you don't decide to go to college, by the time you get through all those steps, you will be well on your way, well set, and just keep practicing, and then you'll be on your way to greatness. After you got your internship, you should be pretty well versed and just keep learning how to make products and keep applying to internships, eventually co-ops, and by the time you graduate college, or even if you don't decide to go to college, by the time you get through all those steps, you will be well on your way, well set, and just keep practicing, and then you'll be on your way to greatness. Mm, that's really good. Yeah. Thank you.